Hello, I'm Nick from Quit With Nick. Another video to help smokers quit. Now in this video, I wanna share the one, and there is only one main barrier to successful hypnotherapy. And I'm gonna share also how to overcome this barrier so you get a successful hypnosis experience regardless of what you're using hypnotherapy for, regardless of what your goal is, regardless of what therapist you may wish to visit or see. Now, and this might sound a little strange when I actually mention what this one barrier is because it kind of goes against what most people's perceptions of hypnosis and hypnotherapy is. Now, the one barrier to successful hypnotherapy is your conscious mind. My conscious mind? but aren't I unconscious when I'm in hypnotherapy? Isn't my conscious mind gone when I'm in hypnosis? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's a very common misconception about hypnotherapy and hypnosis, that your unconscious is actually gone. You're asleep. You're out of it. And then you wake up. Oh, is it done? Oh, did, it, did it work? What, did it, come on. It's, nothing could be further from the truth. Now, don't please don't fall into the trap of using RSL stage shows, cruise ships, silly little entertainers and, you know, at, you know, adult expos and, you know, um, and the Hollywood movies. Don't, don't be in, don't fall for the trap of thinking you're informed about what hypnotherapy is because you saw something like that. Um, yeah, not, not a good idea, but here's the real truth about hypnosis when you're in a hypnotic state you are using your conscious mind and following instructions in such a way that when you follow those instructions this other unconscious the unconscious creeps in through the back door without you even realizing when it's entered the room sort of thing it merges and blends in such a subtle way that your conscious mind will think nothing's happening and nothing's going on. Now, the reason why your conscious mind can be the biggest barrier to hypnosis is because considering the fact that you are awake and alert and your conscious mind is there and present the entire time during a hypnotherapy session, it means that whatever the unconscious is saying and doing and the attitude of your conscious mind and and what you're saying to yourself about what it is the hypnotherapist is saying, that can make or break the success or the result of your hypnosis session. Whether you're doing hypnotherapy for weight loss, quit smoking, phobias, emotional eating, whatever it might be. Your conscious mind has to be on board in such a way that it's going with the flow. If you're listening and absorbing and taking in this process consciously in a kind of resistant, fighting kind of, well, you're not going to tell me what to do, la la la, then obviously you're going to make yourself right, as we like to do, and walk out and, hey, see, I knew I was right, nothing happened, and you win but you've kind of lost at the same time. So that's the biggest barrier. And here's the simple way to overcome the barrier. And that is to look for and insist on a hypnotherapist that prepares you extremely well, especially when it comes to quitting smoking with hypnotherapy. Be wary and stay away from a therapist or a process that doesn't really get to know you very well on the phone before you book. They should be spending a bit of time with you to sort of see your mindset, where you're at and your attitude. Uh, and also, there should be some quite a bit of thorough prep leading up to the moment where you're going to lie on that massage table or sit in that lazy boy armchair or whatever it is. Because believe it or not, it's the 80-20 rule you may have heard. 80% of the result of hypnotherapy is the lead up to just before you sit in that chair or lie on that massage table. Because what that lead up and preparation is doing is it's preparing your conscious mind to 
allow what's going to happen on that table or chair because if that part isn't on board it's not prepared and it doesn't understand how hypnosis works why it works what to expect how to listen if this part of your mind has not been prepared properly then i can almost guarantee you that you're not going to get the best out of that hypnosis session process therapist for that matter so it's extremely important that you are very, very, very well prepared. Uh, it's, it's the make or break. Everything that leads up to before the actual hypnosis is very important. And we, we know this, most of us know that the quality of an end result is often proportionate to how well the prep has been and taking care of the prep and the time that's been put into prepping. I mean, a farmer knows that good yield is about good preparation. A painter knows that a good finished painting job is all about how well they prepped and more time goes into that than the actual painting. I mean, and you can, you know, a good actor does a great job by, to the amount that they've prepared. Um, an athlete uh, does, their, does their thing as well as they've prepared leading up to their event. People can train for a year for one day few minute moment you know so it's it's pretty obvious really so just wanted to share that with you as some insight to help you either do your research or so before you even try hypnotherapy or before even calling me or before coming your mindset and your conscious mind is on board in the best possible way it can so if you know anyone trying to quit please share this video or subscribe I've got so many videos that um, could help any smoker or anyone wanting to quit or even the loved ones of smokers who would like to encourage someone to quit. Uh, be well, take care to your health. This is Nick from Quit With Nick.